In this episode, we're going to be talking about the one sure method that will take you to the pro leagues. You're probably one of the people that think that you don't have talent. Now, the issue with artists is that so once you're conscious about it, you can change anything that you had no control of. Like I was at a dangerous situation where I had to go to the doctor and even the doctor didn't know what I had. My eyes were shutting down. You know, I'm, I'm warning you right now. There's no exception. I've seen it happen to a lot of people. I've seen it happen to me as well. I'm really believing in this project. I really believe that this is going to help you guys a lot. In fact, I just invested over a thousand euros yesterday, but hopefully you watched it till the end because it's a very important video. All your comments, I read them, I answer them, and I'll see you guys real soon, probably in the next video. Wait, hold up. Let's rewind. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Yan. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the one sure method that will take you to the pro leagues. Now, I'm sure a lot of people would like a simple and no, actually an easy answer rather than simple, you know, something like do this, do that, you do it in an hour or two and done, you're a pro. Sadly, that is not how it works in real life. The way it works is things that are worth it usually take time. And that's a fact. The good news is that if you ever had the preconceived notion that it's about talent and that you might or might not be able to do it, you're probably one of the people that think that you don't have talent and that's pretty much a fact for me you don't see someone who's really good who is talented who goes on saying oh you know you don't have talent or you have talent you know usually it's usually the people that don't have talent again you know that talk about how oh it's about talent now this can be a really big subject right talking about talent it, it really needs another whole video and it could go on and go on and the end of the day it's still going to be an opinion you know there are no no scientific facts but there are ways to in my opinion prove whether it exists or not for example hey let me give you a really quick example just you know let you guys think a little about talent let's not talk about drawing because drawing is complicated let's talk about something a lot simpler that everybody does and everybody did for over 10,000 hours, for over 20,000 hours, for, for a very long time that we're all kind of equally good at, just a little different. Just like how artists, you know, there are a lot of good artists, but they're a little different, you know, they each have their own style and their own viewers, right? It's about taste, but they're capable of creating good art. So let's talk about walking. Now, obviously there are exceptions and uh, I'm not talking about anyone with maybe a handicap or who have lost the capability of walking. I'm talking about generally human beings end up walking, right? We start off all as kids who can't walk and then one day we start walking because we keep on practicing day by day and then at the end of the day you don't see someone walking in the street and going, oh he got talent, he knows how to walk. No, we all spend the same amount of hours, we all walk kind of the same way. We obviously all have our own way of walking you know each person walks a bit differently and some people they take it a level further and that's another subject where they consciously try to learn how to walk for example models you know they walk in a specific way they learn how to walk in a different way so that it becomes more appealing for their work but that's about conscious you know consciously learning something it's a bit different than just doing something for so long now the issue with artists is that most artists that are really good usually start at a young age so you might be someone who's in your 20s 30s or 40s and you might be saying you know you, you try to draw for a few days and or a few months or whatever and you you notice that your art just sucks you feel like you're not improving and you might think you know what it's talent and that's the easiest way for the brain to convince you not to do something that you're not comfortable with However, these artists that you're looking at and you're calling talented, most of them, you don't really know what they live through. Yeah, there's no way to explain it. They might not be aware of why they're good. You know, there might be a lot of, there are a lot of factors. It's just impossible. I could, I'm telling you, I can make a whole video about this and we won't finish. So the thing about them is that they start at a really young age 
for whatever reason, it could be uh, a, they got lucky by watching a show on a specific time that their mind was ready to get excited by the show that made them want to draw, or they had something dramatic happen in their life and the, the thing they covered themselves with was drawing, or whatever it is, art generally, but doesn't matter, the reason does not matter, what matters is at the end of the day, they end up drawing at a young age when they're in, I don't know, 18, 17, 20s, whatever age, they're already a lot old, older than you, who's, I don't know, at 40, because there is the age of an artist, which is different from your actual age. So you might be 20, 30, 40, whatever age you're at, but you, you're a toddler when it comes to drawing, because you just started, which is normal, and you don't expect a toddler, someone who's just born, to grab a pencil and a paper and create the most amazing art, it just doesn't work that way. And then a lot of people argue about some people learn faster than others. And again, there are a lot of factors that comes into this, which means that, you know, drawing is, it's not about one skill. You know, there is the ability to observe. There is the ability to, the, the media of knowledge that you already have in your mind. Have you watched a lot of movies when you were a kid? Have you watched a lot of manga? Ha have you read a lot of books? All these information affect the way you learn, how fast you learn drawing, and your curiosity, and a lot of it comes back to luck as well. Uh, were you lucky by going for the good method before going for the bad method? These kind of stuff play as well, right? The only difference is, and, and this is the, the eye-opener, is when you realize that talent is just a way of your brain telling you, give up, you're not comfortable doing this, let's go back to something we're comfortable with. Once you realize that and you decide to go for it anyways, to put everything into it, it's a lot less about luck and more about your effort. So basically, whatever was you know considered luck, for example, a kid, someone starting when they're young, for me, it's considered lucky. He's too young to understand what he's doing, but he ended up starting for whatever reason. He grows up, he already has the skill, right? Or she has the skill. So once you're conscious about it, you can change anything that you had no control of and be in control of. And that leads me to what I'm doing right now. So a lot of you already know, I've been sculpting for a little while. Uh, and, you know, my, my characters are decent enough uh, to get recognized left and right. Obviously, there's way too much to learn. And as an artist, I personally look at my characters and, and feel like there are tons of flaws and I have a lot to learn. However, when it comes to drawing, I don't care who says I'm good, uh, I find myself to be quite bad and that is quite normal because I didn't practice drawing like I practiced sculpting. Uh, for the simple reason is that even though I didn't believe in talent, you know, unconsciously I did believe that maybe I'm not capable because I did try drawing in the past. and. You know, I tried at a very late, later age. I never really tried when I was young. I didn't draw at all. So whenever I draw, you know, I draw for a few days. Uh, sometimes I'd get good. I'd get a good drawing. And that's one of the most dangerous things is that you get you get one good drawing. You spend a lot of time on it. You go back to starting something new and, and it's so bad. You don't remember that that's actually your level. You just spend a lot more time on the previous one that it looks good. But once you start with a new one, you know, you're going like, oh, you know, I got worse. And every time I try to draw, I get to that point where after a few days or maybe a month at max, uh, I just can't draw anymore. And I try for an hour or two and I just give up. And then I spend two, three months doing something else. Eh, sorry about that coffee. Mm. And then I go back to it and I'm frustrated because everything that I learned since I didn't learn it for long enough, it didn't really stick, so I had to start from zero again. And uh, that's really frustrating. And I decided very recently, you know, that's one of the reasons, by the way, that I stopped Tien's Daily Tips, is because when I was doing it, I did not have time to draw, and I already decided to learn drawing at the beginning of the year. Sadly, I, I kept at it for a month or two, and then I just had no time whatsoever because I had to sculpt, I had to do Yen's Daily Tips. It was, it was a mess. Once I finished and stopped Yen's Daily Tips, first month, which was uh, February, March, April, May, June, June. So somewhere around June, I think in the mid of June, I told myself, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be this time, you know what? Whether talent exists or not does not matter to me. I just wanna be a better version of myself. I put that thought into my mind so that it doesn't play tricks on me. And I'm like, even if I spend a year drawing and I keep sucking at it, I don't care. I'm gonna put my all into it and I'm gonna draw every single day 
and that's another thing about consistency is that see like let me give you an example with you don't really know what people have been through you're gonna we're gonna talk about this in a second and you'll know how consistent i've been lately and you might think oh but i can't be that consistent uh maybe he has a talent of being consistent the thing is i'm already a little practice right i already practiced consistency way before now what i mean is that two years ago before i started getting good at or like a little good at art or whatever it is i decided to go to the gym and stick to it and no matter what the days i choose to go to the gym i go it doesn't matter if i get sick it doesn't matter if uh if anything if i get sick if i travel no there was no reason for me not to go because no matter what happens you can always choose to go the first thing in the morning wake up earlier than you should like if you work at eight then wake up at six go to the gym if you do the thing you're supposed to consistently do the first thing in the morning there's no reason for you to miss it and in two years i went i think the first year i went four days per week and then i pumped it up to five i pumped it up to six i pumped it back down to five because the six didn't work for my work the first two years i missed I didn't miss a single day of the days that I, I planned, basically. And then every six months, I planned a one-week break, because that's good for the gym, that's another thing. And the only time I actually missed it, which is contradictory to what I just said, there was a two-week of the beginning of this year, so actually Christmas of 2016, it started till the New Year's. I got so sick, uh, and I've already been sick before, like a lot, I got sick a lot, and I still went to the gym, I traveled, and I paid extra money to find a gym and go to the gym, it didn't matter. But these two weeks, what happened is I got so sick, I couldn't get out of bed. My temperature, I think I was at 40, 41. Like I was at a dangerous situation where I had to go to the doctor and even the doctor didn't know what I had. And I did a lot of tests and you know, it, it was worse than vomit, vomiting. I couldn't cook, I couldn't eat nothing. That's how bad it was for me not to go to the gym. And the fact that I didn't use any other exception, which means when I got a little sick, when I was at 38 degrees, uh, when I was, it was 1 a.m. I forgot to go in the morning. I had a lot of work and I still had to go to the gym. There are 24 hour gyms. Doesn't matter. I always went. So the reason you have to do that is because when you really can't go and I'm saying really can't go, it's not dangerous because you, your body got so used to this habit of doing something for so long that it's so easy to go back to. And ever since like this year, I came back and I didn't miss a single day again it became part of me it's hard not to go to the gym right now and this skill i took it and put it into drawing and the only reason it didn't work before is because again unconsciously i was thinking of talent and that's what stopped me every time and this time i'm like forget it you know i'm gonna focus on it whether talent exists or not does not matter to me anymore i know it doesn't but it doesn't matter and i kept on doing it and i started at june and from June to the beginning of July, I was able to sustain a everyday uh, session of drawing. And the drawing went from anywhere. Well, I actually planned something realistic. I said 30 minutes a day because I had a lot of work. And funny enough, 30 minutes became one hour, became two hours, became two hours. And now sometimes I go up to four or five hours of drawing. And at times I sculpt as well. And I have all the other work on the side as well. But what I try to make sure is that first thing in the morning, I draw. I wake up, I grab a coffee, I draw. There are some exceptions where I have to draw at night and it happened to me where it was 2 a.m. I had to make a video for you guys and I spent the whole day, my eyes were shutting down and I could not sleep without drawing because I, I drew for so long without stopping, no exception. It's just, it became part of me. And just as you are able to create a habit, you can break it and you have to be aware of that. So if your your mind is starting to giving you giving uh, starts to give you some uh, excuses not to do something, you tell yourself, "Oh, I'll do it tomorrow." Don't, don't. You, you're already starting to quit. You know, I'm I'm warning you right now. There's no exception. I've seen it happen to a lot of people. I've seen it happen to me as well. Uh, we're getting a little out of subject, but it's okay because it's an important subject. I'd like to make a dedicated video for one day. However, uh, what I'm trying to say is that. It's not about making or drawing every day. You know, you don't have to be discouraged. It's about being consistent. So if you don't think you can keep it for, you know, it, on a daily basis, then choose maybe four days or five days. What's important is for it to be consistent. In these four or five days that you choose, you don't miss it. And the, in the other days that you don't choose, whether you miss it or, or you, you feel like drawing more, it's up to you. 
But these four or five days are essential not to miss. That's how the brain works. That's how you create a link. That's how you create a habit. And that's how it becomes something that is so powerful that it just, it's a second nature thing. Like you, you can't, it can't go wrong. I'm telling you. So I did that. And then I decided in July, which is this month to start the road to 10 K. And the reason I'm starting it is obviously for me as well. Uh, Anybody that tells you something, he does something for the sake of someone else without any benefits to himself is lying to you and to himself or herself, whatever. So I am doing it for myself as well. Obviously, I'm practicing because I want to improve, but I'm doing some extra things for you guys. And some of them I'm talking, I'm going to talk about now. Some of them I'm going to talk, I'm going to still tell you what I'm doing, but not in details because it's still not concrete, but it's becoming concrete, which is why I'm talking. It's the project I talked about last week. So first thing I did is I'm like, okay, so I was able to sustain it for a month around a month. Uh, I think I can do it for longer. It's not about drawing every day. It's about reaching the 10 K hours. It's about recording the 10 K and that's the craziest part. I'm recording everything I'm doing. So whenever I draw, whenever I sculpt anything that has to do with characters, I record with OBS. It's a, it's a program. And I make sure that I count the hours that I work. If I'm taking a break, if I'm drinking coffee, I'm making coffee for five minutes, it does not count in the hours. And the point is to get to 10,000 hours. Now, I'm starting from zero hours because I know I kind of estimated the amount of hours that I already did. Uh, throughout my whole life and because I really know how many characters I did I didn't I didn't fill up sketchbooks like a lot of artists out there and it averaged from 100 to 300 hours it's a big average because just in case there are hours I didn't count I just added 100 150 hours just to make sure but my point is don't be discouraged by the skill you're currently at uh, I'm obviously it's not my first day drawing or creating a character so I obviously will start at a high level higher level than a complete beginner but my point is is that 100 200 300 hours they will be irrelevant when it, when compared to 10,000 hours which is why I'm starting from zero again so I'm gonna be counting every hour I have been doing that since the beginning of July and I've been this is the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys. I've been blogging it. So you guys could check out my blog. I'm gonna put it in the link somewhere. And I literally, like every day I finish, I post the images I did, or at least most of them. And I tell you guys what I went through that day, what went through my head, what I practiced, how many hours I practiced drawing, how many hours I practiced sculpting, if I did practice sculpting. And I mentioned the progress, the total progress. So. Up until today, I believe I'm at around 40 to 50 hours. I, I need to check. I'm not sure. And that's from July. So from a week ago, from a few days ago. And I'm going to keep on doing that as much as I can. And the point of this is to motivate you guys to do the same, to, to feel like you're not the only ones doing it. You're not the only ones struggling, right? And I guess it's also nice to see someone improving because it shows you that you can improve as well. It's not a magic trick, right? Just as long as you keep in mind that I already have my own experiences, which is why I'm going to improve at different rates than other people. Some people might improve faster. Some people might improve slower, but in the big picture, which is 10,000 hours, by the time you get there or even way earlier than 10,000 hours is that your levels are going to be quite similar. Anyways, the difference is going to be your taste in art your style different people are gonna view your art that's about it that's the only difference just remember the walking thing once you remember that hopefully you'll understand what i'm talking about so check out my blog you can follow my blog it's a tumblr website again i'm gonna add it on the screen and i also created a facebook page and a twitter page now the facebook page it's not like the blog it doesn't go too much into details but i post my progress as well and twitter it's the same as the, again, blog, Facebook, in, in the sense that I'm posting images, the work I do, but Twitter is always a little more personal than the other, but you have a lot less words to put. So I can't go too much into details. So that's it for what I'm doing right now for the future project that I'm hopefully going to start next month. Uh, all I can say right now is that one, it's becoming more concrete. Uh, it's becoming. I'm really believing in this project. I really believe that this is going to help you guys a lot. And it's, it's, 
the thing about it is I always wondered since a long time ago because this talent thing has been in my mind for years and I always wondered how can I explain and show people how to improve if it's so complicated in my head and it's it's a very complicated subject it's it's very hard and I know I'm certain it's not about making a tutorial video on how to do something specific there are a lot of videos out there I'm doing them as well uh, but I don't think these are the things that are gonna give you that notch that, that they are gonna basically let you do that mile that extra mile and the most important thing they're not the tutorials you know I I'm sorry if that's what you thought it's not it's not the tutorials and I'll continue doing them because tutorials are very helpful don't get me wrong it's very helpful to watch a tutorial and learn techniques but if you don't have the base you don't have the structure you don't have the weapons with you there's no point right you're not gonna go very far you're gonna go as far as as what you can get from the tutorial that's it so I kept on thinking about it and I think I'm starting to figure out a way to to really help you guys to make a big difference because it really makes me happy when people send me messages and tell me that for example they start sculpting because they started watching my videos or you know they're improving or stuff like that it's 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 a feel I didn't really think it'll make me that happy uh, when I first started the channel I didn't really have that in mind but now I do and the more it makes me content the more I want to help you guys and obviously without the expense of uh, achieving the dreams that I want to achieve for example becoming a a really great artist that's one of the dreams that I want to achieve so if I can do both I'll do both right I'm not that type of person that's gonna come and tell you guys oh I'm all there just to give you guys this 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 and take nothing in return that's just crap like anybody that says that either doesn't know himself or is just lying to you guys and knows it it's crap no one does something for getting nothing in return the simple fact of being happy in return is getting something by the way just for information it doesn't have to be something materialistic right which is why uh, when I first started the channel I obviously didn't know my viewers I didn't have viewers so when I started the channel it's only logical that I started it for myself and as I started getting the comments it really moved me just it changed it's, it wasn't just about myself anymore it's about helping people out there so whenever I'm doing something I'm always thinking how can I do this to help myself and in return or at the same time help someone else and there is always a way which is why we got to this point so I'm, I'm figuring it out I still need to test it out it still has to start the project that I'm doing and I have to see the kind of effect it does on you guys and everybody out there but I really believe in this project uh, I just in fact I just invested over a thousand euros yesterday on a storage system that I absolutely need for this project and it's it's money that I don't really have right now it's it was my savings but I invested in it because I believe in this project and I really think that you know I have to put my all in this because I found an opportunity uh, that is golden for me it's it's golden because uh, that question I always had how to help people how to really help people not just make a tutorial and people watch and that's it like how to change their lives and make them a better person obviously thanks to their effort but you know just give them that notch i think i figured it out i need to test it out and right now i'm working on it so the only hint i can give you so far because it's still not 100 percent concrete is that it has to do with the 10k thing and uh some of you might have already figured it out some of you might not uh it's gonna be a very different form of helping not the usual thing you're used to and it might appeal to to a lot of people and might not appeal to a lot of people i don't know i again if i don't test it i can't tell which is why i am working my hardest to uh, make it a reality hopefully you guys uh watch till the end of the video i really think even though this video might not be as fun as the others where i put a time lapse and talk about the time lapse or you know a tutorial on how to sculpt or whatever uh, but hopefully you watch it till the end because it's a very important video and uh, I really hope you guys stick around and as usual you know continue your support uh, all your comments I read them I answer them and it really really makes me happy so stick around you're not gonna regret it and I'm gonna put all the links so it's gonna be in the description below depending on the platform plat well platform that you're watching this on okay I did this in one take so I'm gonna keep that mistake 
I'm gonna put it in the description below or on the screen if you're in a platform where I can't really put it in the description below. And I'll see you guys real soon, probably in the next video.